going to be building in Blacksburg, except I'm going to be a little bit of a thief. And I'm going to steal some of my fellow Blacksburg YouTubers' build. So let's get right into it. <laughs> I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. I'm running, I'm running, I'm running. Gotta avoid the chainsaws at all costs, bro. I'm not trying to lose my combined pinky finger. That's abnormally big. <laughs> there is a yellow submarine that is stuck on my plot. I cannot go into my build mode. Oh, now there's another submarine. Oh, why am I calling them submarines? I was only calling it a yellow submarine because of the song. We all live in a yellow submarine. You know? Oh. Oh, <laughs> I don't know how to feel about that. Obviously, we're here with a blank canvas. So first off, I got to build the house. Give me 10. been 10 seconds for me it's been 30 minutes but here is the outcome of the house i took a lot of inspiration from a post i found on pinterest editor put the photo here on screen i like how it's kind of open concept how this is open to the breeze it kind of feels like you'd find this house in the jungle but we have the living room area the kitchen the bathroom and the bedroom so starting off we're doing everyone's favorite alaska violet so first off let's go study her builds hmm. i feel like she uses a lot of dark colors in her build not a lot of pastel got brown Honestly, her builds remind me a lot of my own. So this is her house that she built within 10 minutes. Sorry, 10 minutes of building. Yeah, it looks like she uses a lot of dark colors. So this will work well for a kitchen. Also, these YouTubers do not know that I'm dealing their builds. So shh, nobody tell them. I better not see you guys in Alaska's comment section saying, Simply Bubbly stole your build. I think I'll add a dining room in here too. Simply because it's such a big square. And this living room over here is so tiny. She's definitely the type to use very expensive furniture. I mean, do you see those? glasses she just looks like she lives the life of luxury she's giving double stove that's what she's giving i haven't worked with these tall cabinets in quite a while that's the wrong style this one isn't it yeah that looks right these cabinets give a very cozy vibe i like this let's get a fancy little luxury window over the sink i kind of like how off-centered that is that's definitely not an accident it was totally purposeful okay oh my goodness i didn't realize what a crowd i had outside <laughs> hello everybody everyone's just chilling in my private server simply bubbly underscore it if you want to join <laughs> Look at the server list. Oh my gosh. I haven't had this many people in my servers in quite a long time. I'm waiting for the day that people make a video about me. This is my third time doing this series where I steal YouTubers' builds. When's the day that people are gonna steal my builds, huh? When am I gonna be loved and adored? That sounds so insensitive coming from somebody with 500,000 subscribers. I think Alaska uses linen in her builds. At least the ones I saw, okay? Don't come for me, please. I am also a culprit of the linen tribe. It's a hard addiction to break on. Honestly. <laughs> oh goodness, this lighting makes me feel like I'm in the pits of hell. I completely forgot that there's dishwashers in Blocksburg. Boom, dishwasher. Am I ever gonna use it? No. Am I gonna forget that it's there? Yes. <laughs> this concludes Alaska's part of the build for now. I might come back to it later because I'm not 100% happy with it. But moving on to the room I should have started with, the living room, which does not have a lot of space to work with. For this YouTuber, we're doing insomnia. Now you might not remember who she is because she kind of disappeared off the face of the planet for a hot second, but let's go stalk her channel. Real quick. Wait, she's back? I had no clue that she's back. Last time I remember her uploading was this five months ago, but I guess she posted a few videos since then. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. It's actually so cute because I discovered her channel with her first upload. Upload. I was scrolling through YouTube and I stumbled across this and I realized that in her video she said this. I was inspired by Simply Bubbly's build content on YouTube because she makes really cool stuff. I really hope I do well and that I'm not like overly ambitious. <laughs> I was so honored. I'm like, what? This girly pop? She knows who I am? Anyway, so I can say I'm an OG to her channel because I discovered her first ever upload like a day after it came out. Anyways, let's stock her building style. I think she set the scene for using a lot of light colors, like this very light color that she uses for the floor. I think she's an OG at that. I think we all copied her. So I'm definitely using that. She uses some like pastels, but not like French roses type of pastels. This video is just me analyzing blocks for YouTubers. I wouldn't be surprised if all the rooms in this house turn pretty similar to each other because all these youtubers use a somewhat similar style to each other this sofa looks so comfy i know if i had this sofa in real life it would get stained like that if you go through my closet absolutely all of my clothes are stained i don't know how i got to this topic but honestly it's a serious problem like i kind of want to talk about it why don't more people talk about the problem of staining your clothes i need to walk around with a bib at all 
times. Like, can we normalize walking around with bibs? Can we normalize that? I know I'm 17 years old, but like, every Bloxburg YouTuber is a plant Bloxburg YouTuber. There's no getting around it. There's no not using plants in Bloxburg. That's essentially impossible. I feel like she uses this texture a lot, this wood grain texture, which granted, I love this texture. It's beautiful. I think I might actually put it in the rest of the house. And I believe this concludes her build. It's very simple, but I think the color scheme is accurate. I don't know. You can yell at me in the comments, honestly. I feel like the staircase could use some fences just in cases. So let me quickly add that. I always forget to put fences on staircases. <laughs> Moving on up to the bedroom. We're stealing from True's Ruresses. I actually don't know how to say this name. Okay, I looked up how to pronounce their name, but I can't find anything. So I'm just gonna call them True. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to butcher their name. I don't want to get canceled, but let's stalk their page. It looks like they do a lot of modern building too. Honestly, every Bloxburg YouTuber is the same. Let's be honest here. Ooh, wait, I love this color scheme. This modern townhouse. Ooh, la, la. Okay, it looks like they use a lot of textures. Lots and lots of textures. Textures that I personally would not use myself. Yeah, wow. This is a completely different video and they're still using a lot of texture. Okay, well, I, I guess I'll do that. I think you should be able to move carpets with the moving tool because a lot of the times I try to place carpets under stuff and then I end up having to move the item above it. So Blacksburg devs, that would be appreciated. A little, you know, 2024 Christmas gift vibe. We got 360 days maybe until Christmas, something like that. Please give us an early Christmas gift. Another thing I forgot was in Blacksburg are these alarm clocks. And I have memories, very vivid memories of these alarm clocks breaking and going off for hours. I used to play Bloxburg with the sound on, which was a very bad mistake. And so all I could hear was beep, beep, beep. So I couldn't find the alarm clock or like I couldn't turn it off. I swear to God, I go to bed sometimes and I can just hear the beeping of the Bloxburg alarm clock in my head. <laughs> I'm gonna use a lot of different blankets on this bed. Give it lots of detail. And we can't forget the pillow detail. I feel like I'm always forgetting these pillow options. And I begged for pillows to be added into Bloxburg before we had them. <laughs> Now for the color scheme. We need lots of textures and some darker colors. Very neutral, no pinks or anything. Again, I don't know how accurate this is. You're gonna have to tell me in the comments. I used a lot of texture and that was that. Oh goodness, I forgot to recolor this. That is ugly, let me, there we go. And moving on to our final room, it is the bathroom. I'm really excited about this one because we have such a beautiful view out into everyone who wants to murder me. And for the bathroom, we're gonna be using PT Lexi's build. I know she's not like a building YouTuber. She does a lot of role plays, but I'm pretty sure she builds her own houses. What are these titles? My ex-husband babysits my twin toddler? Oh girl, what are you getting into? Okay. Why does her house low-key remind me of its tequila? <laughs> She uses a lots of linens. It looks like pastel colors. A pretty simple theme. Let me look at another video just in case this is like a special one-off episode. Like this house, for example, is a bit different than the others. A lot less pastel colors in this house. Pastel. People are gonna come for me for saying pastel like that. I think I have an idea for how I'm gonna do this. It's gonna be very luxurious, that's for sure. Lots of light colors. Y'all already know I have to use this bathtub in front of this window. There's no way I- I mean, look at that. Who wouldn't want to bathe in front of everybody like that? <laughs> that is such a crowd. Y'all are so patient with me sitting here for that long. Here's what the layout of the bathroom is looking like. We got a shower, a bathtub, sink, toilet. We even got one of these fancy little standing toilet papers. For the color scheme, we're gonna do light colors, maybe some pastels. Nothing super crazy crazy going on in here, honestly. I'm not really sure how to do commentary for this. Gold hardware for this. Could put a small table here and put some candles on it. And I think that's pretty much it. Which means this build is finally complete. It's time to hop out of build mode and take a look around. <laughs> Welcome everybody to my stolen YouTuber build 3.0 or 4.0. I can't remember. Little do people know they could climb this ladder and just um sneak right into the house. <laughs> I think I just gave it away. Oh no. Uh, welcome everybody to my house. I might actually have to tour this build in build mode so y'all can actually take a look at what it is. So when we walk into this house, we're greeted by Insomnia's living room. Lots of pastels and pinks, custom shelving. Very cute. Honestly, I would say this is probably one of my favorite parts of this build. Over here, we have Alaska Violet's living room slash dining room. She does a lot of reading, apparently. Oh goodness, what's even happening here? What is clogging up the sink? Oh goodness. Moving on upstairs.
upstairs, we have True's room. I tried to include a lot of texture. Got your own little custom T. You got your own TV in this room. And then moving down the hallway, we have Lexi's bathroom. We got a bunch of role play stuff on the counters to represent, you know, her being a role play channel. I literally love how this corner of the house turned out. Actually, this is probably my favorite part of the house. And now it's time for my fans to take over and infect my house. Let me know what YouTubers you'd like me to steal from next time. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Leave a like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you all later. Bye, my beautiful wobble.